What is up guys, Kane here and in this one we're gonna talk about Art of Conquest and frames in it as well as trying to improve your own as well. Because for majority of the time I was playing with like 3 to 5 frames in this game and only recently found how to improve them. So let's talk about two different players. I have Mumu Player X as well as LD Player 4. So on Mumu Player, on the world map, after I changed some settings, I have 120 frames per second. It's fluent, but I'm literally testing with the lowest graphics possible in terms of this game. On LD Player, I'm always capped at 44. I tried to change this multiple times. I'm not sure why the hell it's stuck on 44. So... I have a few pictures of fights as well. So this was like the beginning of the replay. Excuse me. And of course I wasn't recording. So majority of these frames are without recording. So it would be a bit less if we are recording. So this will likely be about 10 to 15 for a few seconds. And then it would be a little bit faster. In terms of PvP, uh, what matters is the first like few seconds as they can literally decide the entirety of the battle. And yes, the first 20 seconds are the most crucial, but the first five are like literally can be like fight changing even. Meaning if you go into the battle like 5 minutes 57 seconds, which quite a lot of the time I had done, uh, pretty much I had most of my heroes stunned, I didn't even start my rotation, when uh, I did my first thing, another person already had Rufio friggin' spinning in my uh, heroes, in my backline. My mages were all uh, stunned and etc. and being pulled away and things like that. So, frames are incredibly important. And on Mumu Player X, in terms of the first second PvPs, I managed to pull 16 frames. Now, this is an improvement because... Every single time I was entering the fight at 157 or 158 with 3 to 5 frames, which was incredibly god awful. Like, if you don't understand 3 to 5 frames, it's, it's incredibly impossible to play. Like, if, if it's so hard to even cast abilities that if I would be playing on my phone, I would probably throw my phone into a wall or out the friggin' window. That's how friggin' bad those frames were. So with 16, it's kind of playable. Now on LD player, I have similar settings, but I changed a, a few of my own. Um, and I managed to pull 26 frames in terms of the first second. So I thought Mubu player was a tad bit better in terms of the first few seconds. But... Uh, apparently LD player still does some stuff I, I suppose in the but I still think that LD player does some additional stuff or reduces some settings or whatever and in the end you are able to pull out more frames so from three to five frames I'm currently being able to PvP at like 20 to 26 and even this, I can actually improve because as what you see on the screen, this is not pixels. I can actually reduce my DPI settings, which will, um, I'm not sure on, on the word, but pretty much uh, make it so uh, we would start seeing a little bit of the pixels here and there. And I'm pretty sure this would be plus 30 and I would have no lag whatsoever, but I'm not actually going to do that because I want to enjoy, you know, some stuff at least in my point of view. So first things that we require to do to make it happen. We have to right click the uh, say LD player, go into properties, go into compatibility, and we have to click this, run this program as an administrator, as well as we have to click this change high DPI settings. And then we have to click this box here, override high DPI scaling behavior and then click application. And then we click OK, click apply, click OK again. And then the next thing what we require to do is go on to the NVIDIA control panel. Now I'm not entirely sure 
uh, how you can do it on AMD uh, cards and stuff like that. I'm, I'm really uh, lost as I never had those. So we have to find the uh, LD player. Uh, .exe in here and we have to mess around with some of this stuff right here so i initially just use global settings auto select nvidia gpu so it basic uh, rather basically selects my um card or graphics card and i can just click this regardless it will have the same effect but i just use it on that and we have to adjust manually some of the things here because if it's on auto Usually, it will value quality over, say, uh, performance, and that quality uh, on... Let me just point out, it's not a very well-optimized game to the point that, again, I can play AAA games, no lag, no stuttering for hours until I may see something, but that is because my laptop starts heating up, like, pretty high to the point that I just leave it and I can just do high frames again. So in, in that case, like that game is literally probably one of the worst optimizations I've seen in gaming, especially a uh, mobile game, bro, like damn. So this is the first game I had to do that. And I went through majority of these things to increase the optimization. Now, more than half of these, I literally have no clue what they do. So if you're looking for some very good explanation, I literally just went across every single one and looked for uh, something like type usage scenarios. The image will be less blurred at higher settings, however, may experience decrease in performance. So uh, I just did uh, 8x or stuff like that. I'm, I'm not sure if application control would be better. But uh, it kind of, for me personally, improved in performance because I think it was auto or it was 2x and it didn't really have that much. So perhaps I can mess around in here. Perhaps there's somebody who could even advise a few things as well uh, in terms of the comments down below. But let's just go through majority of these settings and you can just pause your own video and check what I had selected. So uh, more than half of these are literally based for maximum performance and not for the quality. So that is what I had selected. Previously, most of them were on auto and I was literally PVPing three to five frames. Now, this is the only game, the only game that I cannot play full graphics, high frames at all. And yes, my internet is usually pretty good. I move my laptop um, from the place or where I get like, um, say, stable internet connection when I'm recording. But for example, this internet is maxed out all the friggin' time. But yeah, that is what I kind of did and what kind of changes that I had. So if you want to play better if you want to have higher frames you might want to fidget around in terms of these settings and of course we also have settings in terms of individual player inside of the game as well so what i mean by even increasing more frames so we have this advanced resolution so the resolution in here doesn't matter too much uh, in terms of the frames for particular mobile gaming it does matter, of course, for other games, but what matters is this DPI value right here. So if I have the DPI value 240, means if I reduce it by like 120, th there's like, I think, four times less data to be transferred or so, and, and not like just half of it. And probably from like 20 to 26 frames, I would make it to probably like 30 maybe or so, or maybe plus 30. So there's still room for improvement even on LD player. So I've selected a CPU. I selected all of the cores. I selected half of the RAM. Now, even if it says recommended for, uh, I tried everything and it's not actually properly working with that or working to the extent that it would be uh, playable in terms of PVP. 
for rams you want to have uh, half of it so for example if i have 16 basically 8 is about half of it uh, so in terms of the others i have this high free p uh, rather high frame rate 90 frames per second i have frame rate uh, 120 enable high frame rate but like uh, i'm still stuck at 44 uh, enable graphics can be uh well that's pubg mobile uh enable vertical prevent yeah I, I i don't think that there is anything else to increase frames above 44 aside from that so that is pretty much all of the settings that i had changed some settings that i would be able to change and a few other different things here and there. I will leave links to download both Mumu Player if you want, as well as LD Player down in the description below. And if you do try this and you do have laptops, do let me know in the comments down below how well this uh, changed for you, or whether or not you messed around with more stats, um, or rather more settings and um even pulled out some better stuff so potentially i would be able to change them myself anyways that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you learned something new and hopefully it also helped you out thanks for watching guys take care and stay safe out there